Welcome to Windburn Studios. I'm Katie Ryan and today we're going through a conditioning set that's geared all toward your abs. Gentle warm up to start. I'm taking my left foot back, left elbow forward, and then as I come to stand I'm taking my right elbow to touch my left knee. Stepping back, tap it forward. Exhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. That's five, we have five more on this leg. There's nine, last one. Step it down, switching. Right elbow to the front at the top, and then left elbow to right knee. Step it back. Two, three. Exhale. Last two, stand it up. So you have the option to do that again. We're gonna jump this time, modify if you need to. We're doing 10 jumps, right leg to left, that's one, right, left is two. Try to alternate opposite elbow to the knee. Five, here's six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Last one, we're going back into that lunge position. Get balanced, get steady, catch your breath. Just slightly reach both arms up. And then that left hip is getting the stretch. So I'm going to take my left arm, reach it up and overhead and pulse for ten, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, and then we're changing sides. Right foot steps back, both arms reach up and overhead, but then I take that right arm, stretch it up and overhead. Two, three, feel that side body stretch. Four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Step it forward. You're going back into those jump switches. If you need to modify, it's just knee up instead of jumping. Here we go. Ten total. Switch it up and hop. Two, three, four. Exhale. Five, six. Eight, nine, ten. Last one, and then we'll be warm and ready to go. Right foot forward, step your left foot back, hands on your hips. I want you to tap down, reach the arms up, and then I'm taking my hands, reaching them out in front of that right foot, stretching the left leg up, coming back down, tap it up, back down, three, four, last one, I want you to hold that left leg high and tap it, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, stand it up, switch legs, lunging back, reaching the arms, taking the hands out in front of me, lifting the leg, back down. You'll notice my hip, it's not staying square here. I'm opening that hip, stretching out, back down. Number three, four, one more. Lifting that top leg, tap it up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1 to stand. Come down onto your mat. We're going into forearm plank. Stepping your feet back. I want you to hold forearm plank and then relaxing the shoulders. Squeeze your butt. I want you to try to lift your hips up an inch, back down. Number two, three, 
four, five, six. We're doing 15, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Drop your knees. We're setting up for forearm plank. I'm setting my hand down, stretching that right foot back, making sure that my right heel is in line with my right elbow. And then left foot can kickstand in front of you. You can step it in front of the right foot or on top, a little bit more advanced. Top arm reaches up, and then we're lifting our hips up, back down, 15 here. Exhale, each time you lift, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Feel that contraction, my tricep, my lat, that side body, even the lateral part of that right leg. Hold it up, and then rest it down. Switching sides, left forearm, stretching that left leg, out, heel lines up with my elbow, any variation with the legs, top arm reaches, lift it up, 15, 15, modify as much as you need, there's more challenging progressions in the description if you want it. Last five, lift up, two, three, four, and five, set it down. Going into our set of V-ups, so I want to start with a single leg V-up, stretching my right leg forward, lowering my chest, squeeze your glute at the bottom, and then lift up as high as you can, straight leg or bent. Down and up. We're doing 15. Here's number four. Up, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. Switching legs. Stretch it out. Squeeze the glute at the bottom. All the way up. Modify if you need to. Here's ten. Five more. Make sure that you're listening to your body. That's what modification is really all about. Last two. Last one. Full V up, legs are together. I want you squeezing your knees, squeezing your butt at the bottom. Modify with hands below. I'll show modifi modification first, lowering down and up. Two. Three, 15 total, four, five, maybe floating the hands out, two, last five, maybe try it with straight legs, lifting up, two, three, four, last one, set it down. Hands can go behind, cross the legs, sit as tall as you can. Lift the chest, stretch it out, feel that length through the tummy. Exercise three, round back, feet are together, knees together, squeezing your tush, rounding the back. Grab onto the thighs, you're tapping back for 10, two, three. And I always start with my hands grabbing onto my thighs. 
making sure that I'm pulling my belly in. Press back, hold it back, float one arm out in front. Curling up for 10 here. Two, three. Take breaks if you need it in between those sets of 10. Five, six. Make sure elbows are lifted. Switching, going down, back up, two, and up, three, making sure belly's pulling into the spine, eight, nine, ten, both arms out in front, so you're going to reach your arms up by your ears, hold the belly in, look at your belly button, and tap back for ten, nine, try to squeeze your butt, eight, seven, Six, stay with it. Five, four, three, two. Now hold it back for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Grab the back of your thighs, sit all the way up, hands behind, lift the chest. So we're going into some twisting motion here, getting into the side belly, those obliques. I want you to start with your feet down. You can add as you see fit. We're taking our hands to our chest, elbows up, rounding the back again, making sure that that contraction is happening in the belly, pulling it in, squeezing your tush, and then twisting side to side. And it doesn't have to be a big twist. I'd actually prefer Keeping the knees together for now, smaller twist, side to side. Exhale, exhale. With each twist, making sure we're getting enough oxygen to our muscles. Exhale, exhale. Three more. Two and one. I want you to twist to one side. Stretch the arms out, and then lower an inch, come back up. Go down, and up for two, down, up three, four, five, six. Always grab onto that thigh if you need to. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Switching to the other side. You lower down and up, grabbing the thigh. Three, four, five, six, seven, right there. Eight, nine, ten. Bringing the hands back to the chest, twisting for ten. One, two, exhale. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, stay in it, nine, ten, and come out. Hands behind, stretch the spine. The last set is going to be our hollow hold. If you have not watched our 101 series on how to do a hollow hold and into a rock, I recommend going to Watch that. Watch all of those 101 videos. Make sure that you feel solid and strong before you do this exercise. Knees are together. You can start with hands behind, feet up. We're holding this position. And then if you're ready to, we're going to rock for 10. If you're not ready to rock, try to just hold it while everybody else rocks. Reaching those arms forward, stretching the legs out. We're rocking forward and back. Two, three, ten rocks. Four, five, arms reach overhead if you want. Seven, eight, nine, ten. We're doing that one more time. This time I'm going to do 
five with my knee bent, and then five switching legs. Join me when you're ready. Otherwise, you can just hold while we rock. Here we go. Rocking. One, two, three, four, five. Switching. One, two, three, four, five. Now reach both legs out. Hold it for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, release. Awesome work. We're doing one big stretch today. You can do this standing or on your knees. Up to you. Taking hands to the low back. Gently press the hips forward. Start to feel hip flexors stretch out. The psoas stretch out in the low belly. When that starts to feel good, you can start to squeeze shoulder blades together. Incorporate a little bit more of a lift through the chest and then maybe lifting the chin up, stretching the front body out. Take a couple of breaths here. And then returning back to center. As always, you guys can play this video again. Do it one more time, two more times. There's extra work in the description if you want it. I hope you enjoyed. I'd love to hear your comments and how you guys did with this. And I look forward to seeing you in the next episode.